Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. This time we're looking at a new character from the Rise of Skywalker, Janna, played by Naomi, An Naomi Aki. <laughs> you gotta get that right. Now it just says here on the back, from an oceanic moon, Janna leads a band of warriors ready to charge, the charge against the forces of the First Order. She's number 98, as you can see right there. We'll get the box out of the way and we'll have a good look at this really quite spectacular looking action figure. She is a really, really nice looking figure. Great accessories. Um, just, just really, really good looking figure. Um, yeah, really, really excited to have this one. She looks fantastic. So accessory wise, she does have her bow. Um, just popped out of her hand for the moment. Now, um, there was a plastic loop strap so you could have this strapped over her shoulder, um, which I did remove. Uh, there are some small peg holes. They were glued in. Um, I was able to just run a, bit, a little bit of boiling water over it and that was enough to sort of loosen up the glue so I could break it off without actually damaging it so I could peg that back, back in later but it's an interesting looking looking bow looking forward to learning more about how this works uh, it appears to shoot proper arrows being that we do have a removable arrow here and it is there we go it is a bit stuck in there but which makes it good it's not going to be able to be lost unfortunately this is just a bit of a boring piece of grey plastic um, same goes with the three arrows or four arrows here that go in a quiver and uh, they do sit in there nicely but uh, they are loose so I just uh, dropped a little bit of tack in the bottom a little bit of sticky tack in the bottom so they just wedge in there and hold in nicely when it when it plays ball. So the quiver itself is removable. There are two pegs on the quiver itself. So this strap can be taken off and moved and you can strap it on elsewhere. Cross her body more. Definitely some open options there as to where you can display that. The cape is actually a really cool piece. Um, it's a clear plastic with sort of a lot of grubby wash over it. It almost makes me think of like insect wings or bat wings or something like this. So I wonder if it's made out of like the wings of a native creature or something. Um, or they've just used a plastic that makes it appear as if it's a sheer fabric, um, which it could very well be. Um, but yeah, it's a great look. Um, just the way that light sort of captures through it. No, specifically through the back there. She does have a blaster pistol here, which is really cool. It's a sort of bone handle. And it's almost like an old style musket, which is, which is really cool. That's something we haven't seen seen a lot of. Which I like, and that fits very nicely in her holster there. Head sculpt is really, really nice. The sculpting on her hair is just absolutely remarkable. It's really, really nicely done. Well, it's just the sculpting throughout the rest of the rest of the figure. It's got bits of made-up armor here on the arm. Interesting to know what this is. Pants, sandals. Very much looking forward to seeing more of this character um, come time for the movie. She 
does look really cool. In terms of articulation, she does have a ball hinged head, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists, uh, joint and the torso there, ball hinged hips, swivel cut thighs, double joint knees, and ball hinged knee ankles. So great articulation. Just a really cool figure. And you'll have to excuse the dog noises again in the background. He's just come out for a drink. <laughs> well, thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this action figure review. Uh, next up, I'll oh, have Cara Dune from The Mandalorian. One of the figures I just picked up recently and uh, another great one from the from this wave. So until then, may the force be with you.